Alabama Colonel on it. Scott Frazier is getting ready to harvest corn along the Texas coastal bend. If he's lucky, he'll get one fourth of an average harvest. Well, this corn should be yielding, you know, four, five, six thousand pounds per acre in South Texas here. Um, you know, we'll be lucky to get a thousand pounds an acre on a good year. This corn should be above my head, and I'm six foot three. But the heat and it should, and it's not the heat. It's the fucking light at night. I've gone over this extensively because I noticed it years before Homeboy did. That is, that looks more like wheat. And yeah, it's still tasseled. But I mean, all the fields around here are looking all like that. Just like homies. And I did the research for Monsanto and found that they had GMO engineered this shit to be hermaphroditic at one candlelight, like marijuana, which results in two foot dead corn from here to China. This isn't something new. This has happened for the last three years unanimously across the GMO crops. But there isn't one piece of corn that's standing up better. It's been going on like this for three years, and I watch them water their fucking crops. Earth's axis has shifted because of climate change. Earth's axis has shifted, says Everybody on the planet, Earth's axis has shifted. Earth's axis has shifted due to climate change. All right. Earth's fucking axis has shifted. Be careful. Your Schumann's spiking. I'd like to again carry out the Coriolis effect, which has been in effect since Earth was a planet and rotating causes our northern hemisphere to have counterclockwise rotation. It's supposed to be lesser in the summer, but it's not supposed to reverse, which it has been doing since we got tilted in 2010. That's 2010, October. This counterclockwise rotation started being taken over by a clockwise rotation going against the Coriolis effect. And I began, warning folks, 12 fucking years ago, that we have a problem with our polar vortex and the lunar roll. Lunar roll, well look, we just covered that our axis has shifted. The axis is the thing that goes straight through here that we spin on. We used to spin like this. We still do. However, our axis shifted. We still spin like this. But the moon is doing a new trick because of the result of our axis shifting, the moon is now doing a wax to wane, rise and set. It's rolling 180 fucking degrees in your sky every 12 hours. And that is not normal. Anybody who says it is doesn't understand our axis shifted making the sky roll. It says so in Bible canon that that is the beginning of tribulations. Bible canon being the original books before a Roman emperor twisted them. Said very clearly, when the sister system nears earth, its axis shifts, making the sky roll, thus beginning tribulations of earth. You missed it. Because they say that lasts 10 years and 5 months. You're about a year and a half past 
We've watched The Mark of the Beast. We've watched all kinds of wonderful things begin. One third of the trees are burning right now. And it's not normal. This is our ionosphere. It has obviously been taken over by a, count, or by a clockwise rotation, which doesn't belong to this planet. You take it down a second layer, and it's still dominating the planet. This is your polar vortex. Third layer down, you finally come into Earth's rotation. And if you notice all of these big fucking storms that are up in your fucking upper atmosphere are being pushed directly to the surface. There are no buffer layers, as the Coriolis effect says we should have. We covered this extensively in a video yesterday. So I've noticed a couple of things. One, seven people have been thumbing me down. So, here's your challenge. I can only imagine it's coming from Bandcamp over here. Because this guy keeps using the Electric Universe guys who have been debunked by everybody. They're fucking bullshit misinformation. And he keeps using them to fucking tell us that a couple of years ago, they discovered this. I discovered it in October of 2010, number one. And I know what caused it. These fuckers. <clears throat> now, I wonder, is it coming from Jesus on toast? Because are you kidding me? Have you ever looked at IR spectrum and EMS uh, field in, in court admissible evidence? This is a standard by which all evidence is held by. This is not a lens flare. and This is sure as fuck, not Jesus on toast. This is a little dingle cobra with a cap and a ball on top, just like this fucking guy in Egypt that was carved on every fucking stone that did not roll fast enough in warning, not worship. Prove me wrong, motherfuckers. I've still got a tutu and a fucking blowjob I'll give you. You cannot prove me wrong. All you can do is slander and throw fucking toast at a sun. You have nothing. This man has literally got 89 videos. One of them with Jesus on toast, which is just, that alone shows his absolute ignorance. We're talking about a heating and air conditioning guy versus somebody that's been trained on, on fucking electronics and physics by the U.S. fucking Navy. Okay, I'm also helmsman qualified and been taught how to navigate. This guy here is telling you the moon is normal. You got to lay on your back to look at it. He's got it on a string. Don't panic. The moon is normal. He's saying the moon's normal. It's all good. No, it's not. It's not normal. And this guy is a fucking bought and paid for piece of shit by a billionaire that we have watched chase me around and do this same thing to anything that I use as information, including my goddamn quake map, which they froze up for days and put big dicks on all over the place. It was amazing. Now I've got to say, I have offered 1,000 US dollars a blowjob and to clean your home in a pink fucking tutu for way too long. I've been really nice about it to prove that this is normal to happen every night. I want proof that that's normal, not just words, not just cheap fucking video words. Give me a working model. Better yet, for the thousand dollars, give me the space agency that says our moon should do a 180 degree roll. Because I've given you millions of fucking web pages that teach you how to navigate with this.
this. Something I was taught on the USS fucking Texas, a nuclear missile cruiser. They taught me how to drive the thing by this, just in case my instrumentation went down. And I needed to know how to find home for those nuclear weapons instead of driving them into the heart of Russia like some idiots named Scientific Fucking Lee would do. The sunspots are rotating like a clock also every day. So is Jupiter and its moons, none of which should be happening ever. It's time stamped fucking evidence period right there there's evidence all over the goddamn internet we've gone over several fucking times astronomers watching the moon with their time lapse have all over their goddamn videos the moon doing cartwheels every night some people are like oh where's the proof it's in your goddamn sky watch it from rise to set it's going to flip 180 degrees and shouldn't have you seen where the evacuations in southern Spain became evacuations in central Spain? How about the peat moss over here burning in the UK? How about record peat moss burning up here? How's about four times the size of Texas in Siberia burning in the tundra? How's about all of this fire? I've had scientific Lee literally tell me and you thousands of fucking people that these are hot spots that i'm reporting although the globe turns out is on fucking fire now the man will come out and say yeah my book said so you know why i've already proven constantine knew this was going to happen because the bible canon the original books tell specifically why this happens i knew it was going to happen because i read the original books of that book that fucking plagiarized fucking lying cock sucking sleaze bag keeps waving around so if you think you can prove that court empirical evidence is jesus on toast bring it I've never learned anything from Lee. He's a HVAC guy. He had some crack dreams and thinks he knows something. Everything he says is wrong, and I've said that since the beginning of this. I've sent you to his channel to watch him draw some waves. He, one of them he calls the halo wave. It's actually an impact wave. He can rename anything he wants, but it's existed long before Lee ever bumped his head. Fucking, the man has never had any sort of training in electronics, magnetics, or anything. He has no idea what the fuck is going on, and he exhibits it every day. He talks in a funky accent and with authoritism using the word Christ. That's his only claim to legitimacy is Christ. Well, Christ fucking sakes, that right there is a blue goddamn sun coming from behind the planet, IMF line, in a CME over a full fucking day. We've been watching this for three years. Lee doesn't watch shit except for fucking his crack pipe, obviously. So put your fucking money where your mouth is, Lee. You got a big mouth. Motherfucker, prove me wrong instead of just speaking like I'm wrong. Prove it, bitch.